First of all, need a sheet of paper or card. You also need a pen to uh, draw some lines. You need a straight edge or ruler. I'm using this segment of card. Uh, and then you also need some matches or cocktail sticks or some kind of uh, rod shaped object. And you're going to need quite a few of them. So we'll just take out a few here. The first step you're going to do is you're going to take um, two of your rods, be it matches or cocktail sticks or anything else, and you're going to put them down on your paper end to end like so as a measurement. So you're going to have two lengths of a uh, stick and you're going to mark vertical lines perpendicular to these sticks measuring a uh, distance. So I'm using lined paper and it miraculously lines up to like an integer number of lines, which is very helpful. So this is there, and so then we'll also be on this side. So once you've made one measurement of this, you're going to repeat this and carry on until you've done the entire page of uh, lines of this width. So the next step is the fun bit. We're going to take a large amount of these uh, sticks and what you want to do is you want to scatter them on your page uh, all, all around. So make sure that it doesn't go too far beyond your final uh, set of parallel lines. So yeah, so we will just throw throw a bunch out here. Okay, so now that this has been done, we leave our sticks as they are, and um, now we need to do some counting. So there are two different groups that we're going to count of our sticks. So ones which cross uh, a, a red line. So this match here crosses a red line, but this one next to it doesn't. So this will go into one pile and the other one will go into another pile. So if we take um, matches that do cross and count them here, and then matches which don't cross, count them here. So be careful not to knock any matches that um, would have crossed or don't cross. So once we've done said counting, we now need to take the ratio of ones which did cross and the total number of sticks that we did. So if we just do some counting. Okay, so we've got 10 that did cross and we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 that didn't cross. And so this would be the ratio of uh, 10 or over 10 and we're having 35. It's 30, 5 over 10. So that is an approximation of 3.5 to be our ratio of pi. And the idea will be is if you do this with even more and more uh, sticks, then you'll better be able to approximate pi.